So my hen, her eggs are hatching today. I'm so excited. Uh, you guys should meet. You're gonna love. Oh, we didn't know you were here. Talking to the chicken over here for $68. Part two in Harold's section, the July show, no, June show, June 12, 13, 14, with a lot of July decor. Threw me for a loop there. Follow me, we're gonna pick right back up. Fun, fun, fun stuff. Uh, Harold has never brought in so many new things, and so that's why my, my heart is full right now. Coming over here, $8 really quickly. Uh, we're gonna pick back up with Harold in a second. $8 here. Uh, little, who's into turtles? Somebody, $10, little wooden box. That is the definition of a stash box. Put something in there that's naughty. Uh, coming on over here, $10 on some gorgeous tiles. I know people who collect these. Um, we have a wooden uh, little basket here for 38. More tile pieces down here. Price check. $10. <laughs> $10. It was actually probably more, and he just threw out 10, so it's your lucky day. Coming on over here, hummingbirds. Uh, you know who you are, Georgia. You collect hummingbirds. $22 glass made in the USA. Um, concrete uh, little planter pedestals for $78. An angel here for $68. Um, and some nice little things. Uh, bird feeder, $22. And then I'm gonna quickly move over here. Cup and saucer, $15, dangling darlingly. Uh, really cute, $22 over here. That's 15 if I didn't mention that. Child's tea set. Um, really tiny child can have some tea there. Um, going through here, you guys, these are in our other videos, so I'm gonna move through really, really quickly. Um, you do know Harold has some beautiful sterling silver, which is great uh, for gifts uh, if you're like, my mother, she has a gift closet and collects a lot of things. And when somebody's, she's like, oh, it's a birthday quickly. She goes through a gift closet. That's where you, that's why you need all this stuff. Some great uh, gifts in here, all kinds of fun sterling silver. And then he does have costume jewelry as well. Um, these, of course, we highlighted these in our video last time, so I'm not gonna get too in depth with that, but kind of the day of the dead motif, uh, jewelry going right. on there, sterling silver. And then sweep over here to the left and Harold, why don't you pick right back up and tell me what is happening in this gorgeous vignette. So just thinking about summer and so thinking sort of beach along the uh, lines of the beach and outside, uh, this new metal garden piece, uh, great look, nice rust patina on it, uh, and that is 148. And you could grow ivy up it. Right. Uh, or, or just have it as a uh, kind of figure in your yard, which would be great. And I want you to notice, because we did skip over this, uh, the, the, the matching rust. I love all things rust. Can this is a rust, uh, rusty candelabra for $68. And he's got some fun little patio tables in here as well. $28, you can't beat that. That's really, really cute for a small patio. Um, and then you move on over here, and what's, that, what's this? <laughs> this table is new, um, so painted, love that color, uh, great pop of color, and two-tiered, nice size, very sturdy, and that is $54. Um, and just a shout out, behind the cameras, um, behind our camera person, but up to the lobster trap, I don't think we hit that last time, mm -hmm. but vintage piece, cool, it uh, was purchased in Maine. And, but a great decorative piece, lots of things that you could do with that, and great condition, very solid still, and that is 128. What I would recommend doing it, which is on our to-do list, because we have one, um, is we're, we wanna turn ours into a light fixture, which would be really, really cool for a rustic kitchen. It's $128. And I can't, what am I doing? <laughs> I think, I think we, we mentioned that we didn't mention the price, which is right there across from your hand, the big planter. Straight ahead. Here? <laughs> right, Here? Right above the glass piece. $58 on that, the big planter. And the price is right there. Oh, hanging. $348. Sorry, we need Perfect. sign language. We need sign language. Okay, and you guys, uh, coming back over here, a little peekaboo. Oh, don't fall. Uh, that is, a, is $68 for the vintage stand. I don't know if you can get the shot, uh, the detail of this, how the iron uh, turns, and then we've got a floral base, a lot of weight on that, gorgeous. Uh, can hold a nice heavy pot as it is right now in this example. Um, amazing piece over there. Um, Harold, did you talk about this turquoise little cutie? I did. Okay. So $54 okay. on that. Again, a lot of beach themed things here, things that you can have inside, you can have them out on your patio. Um, this planter here is new and uh, again, vintage. It's got some nice rust on it. Uh, 118, but
but a nice size typically you don't find them this low and and a nice size to that so mm -hmm. you could put actually a few pots in there as well right. uh this would be nice indoors or outdoors you could put it even inside and put books in it which would be a fun little look it would um i love this super cute how he did this with the votive candles on it really cool rustic lantern stand with the stake um for 48 dollars. right and includes the the five candle oh, lanterns see he's making it like totally worth your while <laughs> again if you can't make it to the beach or you don't want to go to the beach because you don't want to get your toes dirty just buy that for 16 dollars. we have two of them and take it with you you're always at the beach yes wherever you go Okay, so we've worked through a good part of Harold's section. Now we're getting into some other. And this time it's from Mexico, it's tin, and it is $58. It's got the fish tile, and we had one a couple of shows ago, and it sold very quickly. It so... sold because of the video. <laughs> yes. It sold before the show, right? It, yes. So great piece there. Uh, vintage uh, wicker planter here, $58. Mm -hmm. Great look to that. And big, big news uh, for me. And not for anybody else. Um, <laughs> I had one last show, and mine had the arch, and mine sold. And it had been here for a long time. So it, it, it went to a very, very good home, and so we have another one. Uh, so Harold is delivering on that. This is great. Uh, this is $38 for the little wooden, um, what is this? Harold? It's a little uh, wood tray. You could put pots in there. You could use it in, in the middle of your table to decorate. Lots of different uses for that, but a nice little size. Got some metal detailing on it mm -hmm. and it's at $38. $38 and I don't know what that tag is for that fell uh oh $12 on that little lantern over here coming over here this is cute he just brought this in for the show uh $58 $8. for this uh look at the little chicken wire really really cute some fun little uh day of the dead things going on in here miscellaneous pops of color that would be darling in a kitchen uh and you could actually use it as a little spice rack right you put your Absolutely. spices in there that's what I would recommend doing um, and if you've been paying attention, um, you might, and you're interested in the scavenger hunt for free items, you might find something in this area. Ew. So <laughs> He just gave it away. I'm going to move it. I said you might find something. I'm going to move it. You're cold. There's nothing in there. <laughs> okay. Yes, the scavenger hunt. If you guys, I have to post that video on Instagram that we have something free in everybody's section, but it's not there. So move on. Right. What is this? Cute. Uh, great stool um, has been stripped and some of the collar left on. And I believe those are 38. There's two, we have two, yeah. uh, $38 each. Mm -hmm. You guys, he had this, I believe in the middle of his, uh, on the, the front before, but I don't want to overlook it. 118, a great wood and metal garden, a little cart there, super cute with the curly legs. Um, some distressed wood, I love mixed textures. You know I feel very passionate about wood, old wood mixed with rusty, uh, must, rusty metal and iron. That's a great one there. This is a beautiful painted wood shelf with drawers for $78. Gorgeous, again, I see that in kind of a Rancho Santa Fe style home. And I don't wanna overlook the Chola cactus, the skeleton tree, Six, it measures uh, 60, 68 inches high. It's $298, beautiful base. Um, I said someone needs to get this for your Christmas tree. Huh? Like, don't don't go cut a tree. Get this, and it's really rare to find it in this shape, this tall. Correct? That is correct. Okay. And a rooster's hanging from the tree <laughs> yes, it is. for forty-eight dollars. He's guarding the tree, so forty-eight dollars. Great, it. great placement on him. Um, moving on uh, down here, a couple little things from. He's kind of moved around, but some fun things as well. We've got this collection of uh, colorful painted crosses, twelve to eighteen dollars. That's kind of what the price price uh range is what i'm seeing in there some more tiles in here of uh, mission uh ten dollars twelve dollars as well um then coming on over here this is a new cabinet he just brought in talk to me about this it is a new cabinet it was uh, i don't really know a lot of history on it the woman had used it for her doll collection but it was definitely a display piece uh, from a store and i would guess a high-end store just based on the the, um, the the coloring and the paint but very interesting it's on each shelf it's got glass all the way around so you this could be the front or this could be the back and it. each um, piece ah! opens yep and so there are seven different shelves and but again you can see whatever is in there from all four sides so and unique, it's only $98 it's only $98 wow great great deal there Harold um, little kitty cat. This one is four bucks. This one is eight. This one has a little boo boo. It says as found. Yeah. She's got a little crack in her back. 
like Poor me, thing. barely hairline. Okay. <laughs> um, some fun little treasures in there as well. We're going to skip over those because we know your time is precious. Uh, coming over here, Darling Cabinet. Love this. Looks primitive style. Not sure if it is. It is. It is. Uh, $78 uh, old Mexican cabinet. Look at the hardware on that. Absolutely darling. Um, and then anything you want to kind of profile in here? So still continuing with this area as well. Most all of this, these pieces here are, are Mexican handcrafted items. So kind of keeping that theme. Um, and then in this area we have the cookbooks and then some old books as well. But certainly a nice selection of Betty Crocker cookbooks. You want to hear something crazy? I had this book as a kid. The the gold, what do they call the golden, the, what's the? Golden book. The little, gold, little golden book. I ha, but I, this was my favorite. I might have to might buy have this. Your, might have your name inside. Oh, Julie. I know, Kim. not me. Three dollars. <laughs> Back in the day, it was 39 cents. Hmm? Show you how old I am. Okay. Coming on over here, you guys uh, can never get through Harold's section with talking about our, our clown. <laughs> Gen <laughs> Genesis' favorite book. <piece. laughs> How much is he? He is free to Janice, but $34 <laughs> to anyone else. Nightmares. Okay. <laughs> you guys remember I told you there's a little surprise over here? Super, super excited. I need you to go over there, and then I need you to, to come and see this awesome vignette. Huh? Does this not say 4th of July? I'm so excited. So again, this is our, our uh, Vintage Americana saluting the past. Uh, show right getting ready for Father's Day all kinds of fun stuff in here Harold take it away So had a lot of fun putting this together red white and blue and so this bench is new um, Could be a kids bench or for plants, but great size really sturdy and uh, $78 This is one of my favorite pieces this this uh, vintage rusty uh, garden cart or planter $98 on that and um found this collection of vintage garden gnomes, which are pretty pretty uh, popular. Mm -hmm. And so- They're making we, a comeback. Yes. So we've got the guy up here with the cart. Uh, he's got a bad arm, but still a good guy. <laughs> he's still valued on the team. And- um, He's I 68. 68. And this guy's 88, because he's, he's, he's working hard. And then this guy- And he doesn't have a bad arm. Right. And this guy's got a cart full of dirt, I guess. And he has $78. And so. he's uh, either winking or missing an eyeball. But that's okay. Uh, if you guys want to know my history with garden gnomes, look back at one of the old videos in Ginny's section. And I, uh, how I, back in the day when I was a rebel, I stole a ton of them. And put them on my boss's lawn who fired me from a job. Uh, so, but don't worry. Those are here for you. I won't take them and put them on your lawn. Okay. And other pops of blue. This is another fun piece. Uh, it is a bottle tree, but got some, it definitely was outside, has seen some great weather, and uh, comes with the four blue bottles, so you got to start already on your patriotic bottle tree, and that mm -hmm. is $36. $36, love this little stool right here, uh, table, metal table, mesh on top. Remember, you spilled your drink, who cares? $22, uh, he's got some fun things. A darling little, uh, that, that uh, powder blue tin there for $8. A vintage uh, blue satin glass basket, a little grape platter there for $22. Land that I love, darling, adorable uh, little uh, tea towel there for $3. I love the pops of blue and white he has going on here as well. Of course, a bird bath, which he has, uh, that's his specialty here, $122. It's concrete, beautiful white. Uh, moving up here with the American flag and another birdhouse uh, on price checks. We're looking at what, Harold? We are looking at... Hmm. While well, he does that, this is $28 here. Um, I love this blue little tin here, and the birdhouse is... Is $88. $88, really, really cute. And the sign is $18. $18 on the American flag sign there. Uh, coming on over here, we're gonna loop around the other side. I think we showcased a lot of this, but you know, we do all of our little tins here, $14. Uh, that's the old metal polishing. This white table, you guys, has some really good structure and weight to it. Really sturdy, adorable as a kitchen island, even if you want, or um, you could put it in a little art studio or something like that. It's just really cute. $228, a great farm table. 40, measures 49 by 37 by 29 inches high. Really, really cute. This is vintage, $38 with some pops of white birch tree in there. 
coming on over here, you're gonna get your garden flags, huh? Right, so new old stock um, made in America. Mm -hmm. And so those are available. There's quite a selection of different ones available. They're $3 each. Mm -hmm. And they are showcased in this beautiful wire basket, which we love for $68. More pops of red and white over here. Uh, this is a great little cook, uh, hook for your keys. You could put it at your front door. Uh, you could even hang bags or jewelry from it for $18. Beautiful uh, $22 uh, little wind chime glass. Don't bang it too hard. Uh, 22 bucks on that. And then uh, a little pop of red here. He went there for $24. And then, um, hey, strip poker, anyone? <laughs> Not sure why I said that. $18, <laughs> poker chips. Uh, I don't know how to play, but if you do, go for it. Uh, Harold, anything else you want to highlight that I missed? I think you hit the, the key ones here. This is new. It's a little uh, shoe shine uh, kit. Mm. So they would carry this supplies in the bottom and then when they were um, taking care of a customer, you put a shoe up here on that, and that is $34. $34, and then of course, the etched glass uh, vase up there, vintage for $28. Really, really cute. Uh, that looks like it's so it's bee, a, the, So they are wasp, the uh, wasp, catchers, wa right? wasp catchers, and so uh, vintage, they've got the wasp uh, in the lid, and then also the they are uh, etched with the wasps as well, and I have two of those, and, they, mm -hmm. and $28 each. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I just want to pan up really quickly. I know this has been here for a while, but I feel like someone needs to get at this show. It is absolutely beautiful. $198. It measures 41 by 39. It is from the 1920s, you guys. It's an architectural piece from a Spanish home in Mission Hills. Absolutely stunning. Put that on a white wall. Put it on the outside of your home. In fact, put it on your barn. Uh, really, really great. Uh, this, you guys, we have covered this a little bit in the past, but I can see he's moved some things around. Anything new you want to talk about? Vintage toys, I see. So definitely some vintage toys down there. Um, some fun pieces. Play School, Fisher Price, and um, all working operational. And $14. If your um, iPhone goes out and you can't listen to your music and can't put the headphones on, rock it. Go jogging with this bad boy for $14. No batteries needed. You don't need to charge no, it. No, no, no. And if you're sick of that tune, get two. <laughs> $14. You're never going to run so hard in your life. Some fun little things in here. The baseball game vintage, $8. I love all things vintage toys, you guys. It really takes me back. Some of this is probably mine that donated, got donated by my mom and Harold bought it. Ow. Okay, moving on up. Pottery, a uh, little knick and knackies. Yeah, so a few new things. Um, the tea bag holders are popular. There's a couple of new those of those in here. This teapot is interesting. It's uh, it's US, but it has the tea strainer built right in. And TJ's gonna help you with that. He says I'd like it. He says I'd like a spot to TJ. And that is eighteen dollars. Okay, new shelving unit. We don't want this to sell too fast because we always need our shelves. But we it do. is one hundred and twenty-eight dollars. And this is a great piece. It was actually built out of an old refrigerator box, and on the back of it, you can see where it said Frigidaire, and so kind of a cool vintage piece. But they took that old box and put it that put the wood to use. So mm -hmm. very cool. Mm -hmm. Anything new in here you want to highlight? A lot going on in there, so, so I don't know. A lot your... of mid-century modern stuff okay. in here. Yeah. This this beautiful box is new. Oh, look um, at the legs on it. Yes, forty-eight dollars on that, but beautiful condition, and definitely very representative of that time period. Definitely. So. Um, Stash box. This piece is uh, new. It's uh, whalebone, and so, but it's a polar bear. It looks like it was an ashtray. And then below that, uh, some, some vintage pink glass always seems to be popular and have some new pieces there. Mm -hmm. uh, this piece right here is an ice bucket and it's from Portugal. And um, so, but it's covered in cork and has is hand painted and has a nice deep um, place there. You could, I think you could probably even fit a bottle of wine in there, but very cool piece. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty eight dollars. Good, good thing I took my <laughs> bottle of wine out of there before we filmed. You can. <laughs> uh, this piece right here is new. Uh, uh, Nautical. Eight, Eighty eight dollars. Um, beautiful old um, coat rack or hat rack, and has those. Uh, I'm guessing Delft tiles. 
mm -hmm. that are uh, inset into it. And then on the top, there's a shelf, and there's are cuts in there for where you could display plates as well. So, so it's ninety eight dollars nice. on that. Great coat. Uh, eighty eight dollars. Oh, look at that! I just saved you ten bucks, or he did. Um, amazing little piece there. That would be cute for a beach house, huh? And then you go down here, and you have your sea anemone, <laughs> right? Or no, yes. urchin. Urchin. I worked at the Monterey Aquarium, I should know these things. But anyway, that, yes. Okay, moving on over here. Um, you guys, we showcased this the last the last, uh, last month, so I don't wanna get too much into it, but really, really quickly, uh, $225 uh, on the McCoy casserole dish. You guys, there's a lot of value to this. Uh, $148 on the coffee stand for the 1960s. Why is this so valuable? Tell me. Um, made by McCoy, um, limited production. And again, these pieces typically got used, so a lot of them got broken. Mm -hmm. And so hard to find them. And oftentimes you may find them, but the lid is missing or you have a lid, but not the bottom. So um, nice pieces. And we've sold a couple of these. And, but again, great, great vintage uh, Western look to them. And, and very sturdy. Yeah. And you guys know we love kids, but you might want to keep your kids away from these <laughs> pricey items because these are in immaculate shape or better yet, just buy them. So we don't have any issues. Come on over here. Um, love this. $48, again, the Western look. He's got so many little Western cowboy things going on here. Um, you guys, we profiled this, so I'm not gonna get too much into that, but a Monterey dresser for 148. The metal shelf here, love that tiered look for 118. Anything else you wanna quickly highlight in here? I think those are the new pieces, that shelf is new, so that's, and that very sturdy, very, very solid. So mm -hmm. nice piece. And our wagon wheel, we sell almost a wagon wheel a show. Thank you, Harold, uh, for yes. jumping on that. $348. This one is massive. You're not really going to get them that big anymore. Really hard to find. It measures 52, which is great. You got your rusty coyote for $78 there. Um, some leather horses, an old uh, pack saddle for $158. Gorgeous condition. Look at that with the original hardware. And then I want to spin over here. Uh, we We've got another pop of red, white, and blue. He doesn't disappoint. No. Um, and tell me about this. So uh, oak, cooler, antique, uh, interesting size and in great condition. And so it's got the uh, cooler piece below. And, but nice, I, I would use this for a party and put the ice in here, have the beverages in here. And, uh, but nice big, nice big area. And some nice red and white enamel there. Mm -hmm. And then a blue uh, enameled uh, muffin tin. For thirty-five dollars, make your muffins. <laughs> and the um, oak cooler is one ninety-eight. And pop right in there really quickly, film lady or man. Not saying who's filming. Maybe it's my husband. I love you, husband. Um, coming on over here, eight dollars for these little blown so glass. Blown glass, and they are self-water. So you fill them with water, stick them in a plant, and they water the plant. <laughs> love when I learn something new. <laughs> Thanks, Harold. Yes. Quick sweep of this. I'm not going to get into this because you have to look at some other videos. If there's anything, Harold, that I'm missing that you're like, hey, I really want them to see that, like the $88 birdcage, which is amazing condition. Anything else, you guys? Um, I, a lot of new things in here mixed oh. in and around, but um, this, I would highlight that pair from a Hoosier cabinet is that Vaseline glass. Uh, harder to find and that pair very good condition $38 and, and a lot of this is new uh, serving utensils beautiful sterling silver uh, he's got miscellaneous prices but we're looking at $16 $34 great shape polished beautifully Harold doesn't disappoint um, great little oh these are darling uh, this is $18 look at that how cute it can actually mount on the wall uh, am I right that That's is a little correct. spot uh, put your flowers in there and then the matching vase as well uh, for $18. You might want to get both of those so they're not lonely. These two pieces are new, interesting, oh, yeah. uh, vintage hair curler. I'm not <gasps> really sure. That, you know what? That would be the best gift for a hairdresser. And look at this comb. It looks a little dangerous. All these metal pieces put together. But, it's like a pressing comb. Um, and they are... Each piece is eighteen dollars. I think this is the kind you put on the stove. You put you would put it on the old vintage stove, and it would get really hot, and then you can straighten your hair. I think exactly what you'd want to put next to your head is. <laughs> I'm 
done it. I did it back it's in the very day. Hot. Eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. You don't know what we do, Harold, for for beauty. Um, so anyway, that would be a great gift. Hairdressers have been through a lot. Get them both uh, and gift somebody and say, hey, I thought of you. Um, some fun little things in here, including this. Are these uh, uh, the binoculars for an opera? No, that no, is for they're the not old, the old cards, the old play cards. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. That hurt my eyes. Twenty-eight dollars. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm blind. I, and and I'm around glass. What? What? Okay. Anything else, Harold? Uh, Twenty-four dollars on this Victorian era copper uh, little wear there. Beautiful. Look at the paintwork there. I know there's some stuff I'm missing. Tell me. I I think you've hit the the highlights. Um, then in this area we have a lot of wood items and uh, wood boxes. Mm -hmm. Wood containers tend to be very popular, so we've added a lot of new uh, wood boxes, different styles, different sizes, different shapes. Um, this is a great one, a lot of metal metal detail, and that is $18. Mm. Here's another great one, a lot of color, and a lot of work on that one. This is 14. cute. This is one of those vintage little uh, toss the ring, right? Am I right? No, not toss the ring. Just, well, what is it? It definitely gets toy, <laughs> but it won't tip over, and it was just to teach dexterity so that they could put them over the peg and put them in the right order. Right, so, that's what I was going to say yeah, next. That, yeah, you were testing me. For $16, and he passed. Good job, Harold. Okay, moving on. Uh, I love, again, the red, white, and blue. You can't have too much of that this, this time of year. Uh, $178 on the old food safe, you guys. This has been here a couple shows, but want to highlight that again. Um, and that would look great in your kitchen. Some vintage little... Uh, a basket for $12, a flag there as well. Um, and winding up, huh? Getting the sign, an old school desk, um, cute, cute, cute. Some vintage cards, we've talked about this before. American little decals there, miscellaneous. Um, we've got a handcrafted European wood box, it's $34. And it's, it's a puzzle to take it apart. We'll be here for an hour, hang in there with us. There you go. Ah! There it is. That is the definition of a stash box. Hide, hide, hide. We'll come, Harold, can you do that later? Okay, yes. coming on over here. Uh, again, you guys know he has his costume jewelry. We have a nice little collection of uh, cross charms here. Um, ooh, <laughs> scavenger hunt, keep moving, keep moving. There's some things in here. I'm so excited. Okay, uh, painted table 38. Do you want to highlight that really quickly? So, great table, uh, has a drawer, a um, lot of detail, hand painted, and again, great value. It's $38. And if you sweep on over here, great plates up here. Um, we get a lot of requests for the plate racks, and this is an unusual one. I just brought that in for the show because it actually has plates going up and down and across as well. That's and that, amazing. And that is $58. And then I don't want you to skip your new candle, your new uh, Western. Uh, and we're back with the light fixture for $68. So nice vintage piece, um, reminiscent and uh, great light and very solid. So $68. Um, also this uh, parrot, nice piece, uh, Mexican. It is pottery. And uh, oftentimes you find the birds, but not the hangers. And so nice, nice piece there again, $44. And it is signed Mexico. Um, love that. And then ending off here, you guys, he did talk about the Betty Crocker cookbooks, but we love those for obvious reasons. Some of you guys don't know who are now starting to follow us. You are at the Betty Crocker property. Agnes White was her real name. She lived here. And so we do pay tribute to her. Uh, we're restoring the house. A lot of fun things to see at Brick and Barn. You don't want to miss it. If nothing else, come to the Betty Crocker State, get your Betty Crocker cookbook and call it a day and then find something free. Uh, we will see you this coming weekend, June 12, 13, 14 at Brick and Barn. Bye. Bye.